Thank you, uh, President Santos. I want to uh, express my appreciation for your consistent friendship, the friendship of Colombia uh, over many years and under your leadership in, in the last, the few, uh, the recent years, it's been a remarkable alliance uh, of uh, faith and values, uh, faith in the future. I have to tell you that I, uh, uh, this is my second visit to Colombia. I came here for one evening 30 years ago, some 30 years ago, I think I was ambassador at the UN, and I was invited to Bogota for one evening. So I'll give you my impressions. Just from a few hours, there is enormous change, enormous progress, um, enormous uh, growth. Uh, and I believe that this uh, merely sets the stage for what will happen in the next 30 years. Now, one thing I want to tell you, I I don't think that the first visit uh, of the Prime Minister of Israel, acting Prime Minister of Israel, uh, should be 70 years apart. So I guarantee you the next visit will be uh, a lot uh, uh, closer at hand. But I think that this, uh, this opportunity to visit Latin America and to visit Colombia, the first visit of uh, a sitting Israeli Prime Minister, I think is one that uh, infuses us with great excitement, great emotion. Um, and uh, we believe that there is great hope. We think that uh, uh, Latin America as a whole has uh, uh, tremendous potential. And we believe that the world is now at the, um, at the juncture of a great change. Uh, the world economy will never be the same again. Everything is becoming technologized, everything. Areas that were deemed as low technology are becoming um, suffused with technology which changes productivity uh, which changes um, the benefits given to people in ways that were unimaginable just a few years ago. Everybody sees it with their cellular phones, but if you think about it, go back 20, 25 years, we had to go to public phones, you remember? You had to go to a public phone to communicate to each other. We had no phones in cars. The world is changing there, but it's changing. You mentioned agriculture. We now have uh, uh, the confluence of big data, artificial intelligence, and connectivity in agriculture not merely in sophisticated industries of communications or uh, very uh, advanced manufacturing, but in agriculture. So a drone is flying in the sky and is photographing a field, and it can locate the exact plants that need to have more fertilizer so you don't spread it on average across kilometers and kilometers of fields. You save money and you produce more with less. This is what we do in Israel. We produce more with less. More water with less input. More milk with less expenditure. Uh, cleaner water, um, cleaner air, <clears throat> best, better energy. We can do more with less. We think that we can do a lot more here, a lot more together. Uh, we're excited by the post-conflict opportunities that uh, are presented in uh, Colombia. We uh, have discussed, the President and I, several areas. The first area, obviously, agriculture. The second is water, how to help, uh, from our experience, to address the uh, barren parts of Colombia. We think there are many possibilities here. We discussed uh, cybersecurity. This is an area that uh, is important for all countries, but not only on the governmental level, even your bank accounts. Uh, people save and they deposit money in banks and somebody can come and rob your money. And so you need this protection. Israel, uh, we agreed that we'd have uh, some people that you will designate sent over to Israel. I think that they'll benefit from this experience and we'll cooperate with you as well on this. We talked about tourism now. Well, so I, I can say after the signing of this tourism agreement, I'm the first Israeli tourist uh, here. But many more will follow. I met uh, um, some... Um, your Christian leaders at the airport who kindly came to greet me uh, with the leaders of the Jewish community. And we will welcome um, all Colombians who come to see Israel, a country that connects the old with the new uh, and has some uh, great sites from the history of Christianity, but also great sites of uh, leisure and uh, futuristic technology. We see all this as a, uh, as a very fertile field which we can plow together 
uh, and give uh, benefits to our people. This uh, uh, requires one other thing. I have to say that uh, just as the world is giving us untold uh, uh, possibilities, there's also the great threat that has emerged. And that threat <clears throat> is not merely the threat of terrorism, which uh, Colombia has uh, gone through and has overcome, but it's the threat of uh, uh, militant Islamic terrorism that uh, has plagued first Muslims and then the rest of the world. Uh, it, is, it has two fountainheads. One is the uh, Daesh and the other uh, is Iran. This has produced uh, a new found relationship between Israel and the Arab countries because they now see Israel not as an adversary, but as their indispensable ally against these forces that want to take back humanity from its fantastic future to a barbaric past. Uh, Iran is sending its forces uh, and its terrorist outreaches everywhere, including into Latin America. Uh, and we believe that uh, all countries should unite as Israel is uh, cooperating with Arab countries to prevent the expansion of Iranian aggression and terror uh, to other continents as well. We have cooperated in the past on security. We stand ready to cooperate uh, in the future. I think that if we provide security for our people and we provide the benefits of uh, technology and innovation uh, to uh, uh, our economies, uh, this uh, will give uh, I would say a future of hope and purpose for uh, both Colombia and Israel. And I would say one other thing. The future belongs to those who innovate. Israel is an innovation nation. Colombia has outstanding capabilities and people. We'd like to merge them together. So we've decided today on uh, rekindling and refinancing an innovation fund, Colombia Israel Innovation Fund. Maybe you will teach us finally how to make a good cup of coffee. <laughs> but many, many other things, I'm sure. <laughs> I want to thank you once again for your hospitality, and I look forward to um, our continued cooperation. Thank you. Muy bien, de esa manera finaliza esa declaración.